Human Digestive System Digestion allows your body to get the nutrients and energy it needs from the food you eat. The digestive system consists of the following. The mouth, in which are the teeth, tongue and salivary glands. Oesophagus, liver, pancreas, small intestine and large intestine, rectum and anus. The structure and function of human digestive organs. Mouth, in the human body, food is ingested through mouth. The teeth cut, tear and grind the food into small pieces. During the process, saliva begins to form in the mouth. The saliva is secreted by three pairs of salivary glands. The parotid gland, the submaxillary gland and the sublingual gland. The saliva contains an enzyme which helps to break down starch of the food into sugar that are easier to digest. During chewing, the tongue, which is a muscular organ, helps to eat food. The food is pushed back into the throat and is forced through the opening to the esophagus. The tongue has taste buds that can detect different kinds of tastes, sweet, salty, sour and bitter. The tongue helps in the act of chewing and swallowing. It also helps us to speak. The oesophagus or food pipe. The oesophagus is about 10 inches in length and situated behind the windpipe which is protected against the entrance of food by a covering or lid called epiglottis which closes when the food is being swallowed. Our food does not drop into our stomach suddenly. It is carried down by a series of movements caused by the action of muscles in the walls called peristalsis. The stomach, the oesophagus, leads into the stomach which is J-shaped and situated in the upper part of the abdomen just below the diaphragm a little towards the left. The interior of the stomach is lined with glands called peptic gonads which secrete a liquid called the gastric juice. The gastric juice among other ingredients contains hydrochloric acid and substances called pepsin and renin. Digestion is carried out in the stomach by means of these substances. The hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria that enters along the food. When the food is digested in the stomach, it is converted into a substance called chyme, which has a sour smell and taste. Small quantities of water, salt and glucose are absorbed in the stomach the pancreas. The pancreas is situated on the right side of the stomach. It is 6 to 7 inches long and it secretes a juice which is colorless and clear known as the pancreatic juice. This juice helps in the digestion of protein. The liver. The liver is the biggest gland of the body it is reddish in color and about 4 pounds or 1 kilogram in weight. It is situated on the right side of the body behind the lower ribs and below the diaphragm. There is a side bag attached to the liver which is known as the gallbladder. The bile is stored 
in the gallbladder. Bile emulsifies fat, prevents food from decomposing and forming gas and helps the digested food to pass easily along the elementary canal. The large intestines. The large intestine is only 5 to 6 feet in length. The large intestine begins in the right of the abdomen. There are no villi in the large intestine, but its walls have the capacity to absorb water from the waist, and the waist is moved forward by the muscular movement into the rectum. The small intestines. The small intestine is about 18 feet. The first portion of the small intestine is called the duodenum which is only about 10 inches long. The duodenum is C-shaped and below it the pancreas is situated. Both the bile duct and the pancreatic duct open into the duodenum. The duodenum has numerous small glands in its walls which secrete fluid resembling saliva. This fluid helps to digest the starchy food which escapes from the action of the saliva in the mouth and the stomach. Intestines receives secretion from the liver and the pancreas. Rectum and anus. Rectum at the end of the large intestine. This small space is a temporary storage area for faces. Anus. This is the external opening of the rectum where faces are expelled. The final function of the digestive system is the excretion of waste in a process known as defecation. Defecation removes indigestible substances from the body so that they do not accumulate inside the gut.